All right, we're out here at the ring, shooting the uh, Pika for the first time ever. This is the 308. What I got for ammo is this. This was the cheapest one that I can find. Just uh, gonna break in the gun. Basically shoot one, clean it, shoot one, clean it for 10 times. Um, we're gonna do a few today. <clears throat> I think it just feeds, yeah, just straight feed. Two. Three, three or four, I can't remember. Just three, okay. All right, put the magazine in. There we go. All right. Chamber went round. Very smooth action. That's what uh, TK is known for. Safety off. All right, first time shooting it. See if we can get it on the paper. I boresighted it from a home. Ready? Mm-hmm. Woo! That scared That's me. That's got some kick. Woo! Did I even hit the paper? Anyways, we'll... It checks the shell really good. Mm -hmm. Second shot, because uh, the first one, uh, 100 yards, didn't even touch the paper, I think. So we're gonna go at uh, 25 yards to just uh, kind of see where we're at. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, this was uh, a 25 yards. This one was my my bullet hole Right here, so I'm like way high and a little bit to the left These are previous rounds somebody else shot and that was my bullet hole. All right So we shot two shots so far one at 100 he went off the chart and then one at 25 he went about six inches high and about an inch to the uh, left. I didn't adjust for the side to side. I just uh, made it come down six inches with the scope. So hopefully it's uh, pretty. It's pretty close to the bullseye now. So third shot. Let's go. Finger around. This bolt is super smooth. Oh. Woo! That thing kicks, man. It really hurts. Like, whew. need more padding on this thing. My shoulder is gonna be sore tomorrow. All right, so this was my third shot, two, two or three inches to the to the left, and about a half an inch inch up. Yeah, so maybe I'll move it down a little bit more and to the left a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna do to 100. Aim for the very center of the target, I guess. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. It's on paper and it still hurt, but wasn't as bad. I think I shouldered it a little bit better. And it's on paper, it's pretty straight. It's still high because we centered it at 25 yards and it's supposed to, the bullet is still climbing at 100 yard. So yeah, as long as we dial it down, I think we should be good. All right, I went over there. It was six high, one left. So I adjusted. So. If I shoot, I should have bullseye. So what we have done, this is our fifth shot. So every shot we've done, we've shot and pulled the snake through, clean it, shot, pull the snake through. So we're gonna do this 10 times to breaking the barrel um, and let the barrel cool down every time before you shoot again. So 
This is our fifth shot and see how it goes. While sighting the rifle. This shot is actually just below the bullseye and to the right a little bit. I think I'm gonna leave the scope as is and I'm happy with it for now. And we'll do the next five uh, next time we're here. Give my shoulder a break. Here it is. As you can see here, my four shot was six inches high and one inch to the left. And this was my fifth shot. I dialed it down and to the right. So we went uh, actually two inches to the right and about an inch and a half down. I think I pulled it to the right a little bit. I can I felt it. So I think I'm happy with that. A hundred yards is a dead deer. We'll do the next five next time we're here. And the Tika, I'm, uh, I'm liking it. All right, I just took off the Tika recoil pad. It's just uh, two Phillip screw screws onto the stock. And yeah, all I needed was just a small screwdriver and uh, the limb saver just came in the mail. Uh, Seiko, Ruger, and Tiga all use the same one. And this is what it looks like. Very soft. And it's supposed to soak up 70% of the recoil. So yeah, we'll just use the Tika screws, the same screws, and uh, put it right, back, right on. And it looks better too, which is good. There is Zuzu. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to use the new recoil pad because this thing is stiff. Really hurts when you shoot the 308. It's a light rifle. And what are you doing? All right, we're back at the range just to test out the uh, new bus stock. It's the uh, limb saver one. I'm wearing the same sweater and yeah, let's test it out. <clears throat> All right, loaded. You ready? Eh? Mm -hmm. It is actually a lot better. It's still quite a big kick, but it's not nearly like, it pushed me back, but it doesn't hurt as much in the shoulder because this is so soft. If you come close up, this is uh, super, super soft. Um, however, there's one uh, downside. If you see the butt, it's pretty square. Um, the Tika one has a better curve, so like you can shoulder it better. But this one, it has like a um, sharper edge, so she doesn't shoulder as good. But that actually is a lot better for recoil wise. Like my shoulder doesn't hurt at all. Okay, we'll take the shell out and uh, go see at 25 yards. All right, at uh, 25 yards. We sighted in the rifle at 100 yards, so yeah, it uh, actually is dead on. It's just, uh, you know, about two inches slow. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's actually perfect, two inches slow. So at 100 yards, it should be, you know, dead on or a little bit high. Now at 100 yards, try it again, see if it uh, will work again. All right, let's load it up. Now I don't have to be so scared of the recoil.
<laughs> actually don't know if I hit it. I think I pulled it. I'm gonna put in another bullet just uh, in case. <laughs> okay, last one. Giant's loaded. Alright. Two shots at 100 yards. Let's go check it out.